Former Commission on Elections Commissioner Rowena Guanzon makes official her congressional aspirations after filing her papers as the first nominee of a winning party list group. This comes a month after the May 9 polls and six months after the substitution deadline. Acting Comelec spokesman Rex Laudianco says the poll body received the resignation letters of the five original nominees of P3PWD on Tuesday, June 14. The group also submitted a new certificate of nomination listing a new set of nominees with Guanzan's name at the top. And Laudianco says these are subject to the deliberation of the Comelec on Bank. Retired Supreme Court Senior Justice Antonio Carpio says it is possible for President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. to keep strong economic ties with China while being firm on asserting the Philippines' rights in the West Philippine Sea. You can, you can have good trade and uh, economic relations with China, but you have to be protective of your maritime rights. And that's, uh, that's what the, the, that's the position of uh, of uh, Vietnam. Also, the position of uh, Malaysia and Indonesia. Marcos has become more assertive regarding the country's claim on the West Philippine Sea since winning the presidential elections. But the president-elect is also treading the line between preserving the friendliness with China and restoring warm ties with the United States. Marcos has previously mentioned discussing adjusting the visiting forces agreement with an American envoy, but has also mentioned at an event that the country's strongest partner has always been China. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. The Justice Department under outgoing Secretary Minardo Guevara will not withdraw two charges of conspiracy to commit drug trading against jailed opposition Senator Laila de Lima. Guevara on Tuesday, June 14, says as far as the retractions of certain persons are concerned, these have no probative value whatsoever. He says the prosecution takes such a position until these persons who recanted are actually presented in court for examination to ascertain their truthfulness. Three so far recanted their testimonies against Delima. Two of them are a witness and respondent in the court cases. The prosecution is an attached agency to the DOJ, but it is an independent body. Incoming Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Boying Remulia earlier said he would be open to withdrawing if after a study, it would turn out to be the only recourse. Delima, who lost her re-election bid in the May elections, had been in jail for five years. Walt Disney Co. is unable to obtain permission to show its newest Pixar movie Lightyear in 14 Middle Eastern and Asian countries and is unlikely to open in China, the world's largest movie market. A Lightyear producer tells Reuters authorities in China had asked for cuts to the movie, which Disney declined to make, and she assumed the movie would not open there either. The animated film depicts a same-sex couple who share a brief kiss, which prompted the United Arab Emirates to ban the film. The United Arab Emirates says the couple's relationship violated the country's media content standards as homosexuality is considered criminal in many Middle Eastern countries. Lightyear is a prequel to Pixar's acclaimed Toy Story franchise. Chris Evans voices the lead character Buzz Lightyear, a legendary space ranger. BTS member Jungkook surprises ARMY on Monday, June 13 with a new track titled My You as part of the K-pop group's 9th year anniversary celebration. The release of the track coincides with the BTS 2022 Festa, a special two-week celebration leading up to BTS's debut anniversary. The lyric video features an edited phone layout of Jungkook texting and sharing social media posts. 
Along with the self-composed song, Jungkook says, My You is solely dedicated to BTS's fanbase ARMY, and Jungkook hopes it to be a song that can give hope, light, and strength to him and their fans who will listen to it. BTS dropped their comeback album, Proof, which carries the single yet to come, The Most Beautiful Moment, on June 10.